What's up, God? So I'm going to pull some cards to check on. Goodness, one fell already. I haven't even gotten started. I want to pull some cards to check on the collective for the um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Twin Flame Partnership, the External Partnership. I like to focus on internal sometimes, so today I'll focus on the External Partnership. And the first card we have is Door to Romance. We have some more. Some ones that's going to come out, but um, it's too long. Come back in there. So, hope you guys are done having a great day or will have a great day. We have victory. I'm going to pull one more. Ooh, I should have picked that one. It was the happy family card. Ooh. And we have angel of balance. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. And I'll just point out that I saw the happy family one. So that may be significant. I might look that up too. So we have Joy to Romance, Victory, Angel of Balance. I want to pull some tarot to go with it. Just a couple tarot. You know, sometimes I'll do oracle only. But today, I mean, usually I like to clarify oracle with tarot as well. So Spirit, if you have some tarot cards to go with this reading. Interesting. We have 333. Three, three. Three of Swords came out. We already have 33. Do a romance. Um, do we have any more? Maybe there is going to be an end to some sorrow. We have Prince. I'm using my taupe deck, by the way. And we have Prince of Swords. Let's get one more. Since the number three is keep coming in this reading. We have Ace of Cups. Nice. Bottom of the deck. Prince of Disc. Cool. Ooh, my happiness right under there. This happiness is, it keeps popping out. Somebody, it's the end to sorrow. This is the end of sorrow for someone. Maybe for all of you. But, because I keep seeing happiness. And underneath the Prince of Disc was Nine of Cups, which is also significant. Um, which is all about happiness. So let me get a let me see what this message is, and I'll be right back. So I've read these cards, and this reading is so dope. But I'm gonna name it New Levels of Love because the level of love that's expressed in this twin flame relationship and this partnership is divine, and there's no other word for it. It's divine. It's literally the hand of God um, poured. God poured out a blessing and brought you two together. So the overall energy of this reading is we have the son of, we have the son. <laughs> I'm reading my notes on so this. We have the son and we have the prince of disc. And we also have happiness. So we know that this is going to be emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. This is This isn't even talking about unity anymore. This is more so talking about what happens when you're together? What happens when you unify? Um, but there, there is, um, with the sun card, is about moving forward. The sun card is about um, new beginnings and personal growth and um, blessings and divine inspiration. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at her. This is so beautiful. We, you know, we have the sun. We have the gold. We have babies. We have fertility. We have... Um, the water this is so beautiful this is about the beautiful connection coming together and bringing new levels of love in your life and um unwavering love reliable love balanced and equal give and take love with the prince of disc this brings something coming towards you steadily this is planning this is moving towards the goal and not stopping until you get there. This is planning for the future and, and being strategic and planning it out until you reach your goal. So this love is coming together. The feeling that I'm getting is divine masculine is putting together a plan or a divine partner. I don't want to label it because, again, we have both energies innate in us. I know that we say that a lot, but it's true. So anyway, this is a divine partner planning out how to come towards you or how to put it all together so that um, and not letting anything get in the way of this partnership. This part, he or she's planning and putting it together um, because this is undeniable love. This is reliability. This is 
balance. This is equal give and take, new beginnings, blessings, divine inspiration. But it also brings personal growth and new beginnings in your personal life as well, individually as well as together. But it's a new you. This is the feeling that I'm getting. This is a new you. This this relationship renews you. This is a new you. And I think it's inside and outside of the partnership. It's like new me who this, you know? It's not even new number who this. This is new me who this. It's abundant blessings and nothing is stopping it. It's coming towards you. This abundance, this new life, this new you, this um, new love is coming towards you. And that's so cute. The angel of love is right underneath that. There's no stopping this partnership. The first pair, the first card I had is the uh, door to romance. Beautiful too. This card is also alluding to new beginnings in love. But, you know, it doesn't even have to be a new love. It could be new levels of love as well. But I'm getting new beginnings in love, new experiences, new levels of love that you have never experienced before. Like I said, divine um, partnership and unity um, coming together. A strong connection in the 3D as well as the 5D. Um, in this card, it explains that the connection could already exist in spirit in the 5D, but it's manifesting in the 3D as well, and the connection is just as strong. Um, yeah, this is the door to romance. This is the door, and the door is open. So that means it's coming forward. It's coming towards you. It's coming, and there is no stopping again with the Prince of Death as the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. Then we have victory. Again, like I've, I've alluded to this before in my other readings, a divine partnership is, this is new, this is rare. This is not something that everybody gets to in, in their lifetime. Um, this is victory. This is success. This is new levels of success. This is success on a whole nother level because coming together with your divine partner is that special. Um, but also there's a success and personal achievement in your personal life on every level. When you are able to accomplish something so serious, something so divine, it also brings you a level of success as a person, individual, as well as um, not just in your partnership, but also as an individual. What is my thing like that? Then we have the angel of balance. Again, equal give and take, um, balance, peace, stability, emotional stability. When you're with someone that is your divine partner, even I was reading an article together today about um, the four levels of a soulmate or whatever, or four different types of soulmate. If you're with your twin flame or if you're with a soulmate who is um, a companion, a soulmate companion, I think that's what they called it in the article. But when you're with someone of that sort, it brings you peace. It brings you balance. It brings you, um, it just feels different. It's a totally different feeling. Let me see if I can find this article. Oh, I don't see it. I don't see the article. I must have, um, I had to, I must have gotten out of it. But in this article, let me see, let me pull it back up. Yes. Ooh, what did they call it? They called it a... Come on, that is not the article. <laughs> uh, Whatever. But it's a soul partnership where you're with someone is like a soulmate. But it's not your twin flame, but it's a soulmate. Um, they, they send me so many articles every day. It's just... How to track your twin flame. I guess when you read it, it, it does no longer is in my history on my computer. Um, on my notifications on my computer. But anyway, I think it says something like being a companion or a companion soulmate or something like that. Let me go to my history. I can just pull it up in my history. Anyway, but this level of soulmate is someone who understands you, who who vibes on the same frequency frequency as you. Yeah, there it goes. Who vibes on the same frequency as you and, and gets you and, and, you know, it's joy. It's unification and joy. But it's not a twin flame. Yep, they called it the companion soulmate. But anyway, when you're with a companion soulmate or you're with a twin flame, it's a whole different level of 
peace within you. And when you come together in this partnership, it's going to bring you that level of comfort, that level of peace that a companion soulmate or a twin flame will bring you. Because it's unity, it's divine, it's supposed to be together. But even so, more so than a companion soulmate, the twin flame soulmate will take it to a whole nother level of peace, a whole nother level of divinity, a whole nother level of love. Uh, this is new levels of love and whoever is ex this reading is for and I pray that it's for me too this is an experience that not everybody gets to have it's new levels again it's it's a blessing in itself it's abundantly you're abundantly blessed and this partnership is going to manifest in material form then we have because it's over I like looking over here then we have the Three of Swords. And it says sorrow, but on the tote deck, I pull from my tote deck, you know, it doesn't always allude to what's on the card, but also what it connects to. And in a tree of life, the Three of Swords connects to understanding, perception, realization, truth, clarity, and honesty. This partnership is going to, um, your partner is going to come forth with some truth, with some clarity, with some honesty, and bring understanding to the situation on the partnership, on a level... Uh, you know, on the 3D level, but on the 5D level, it's going to help you understand I wasn't crazy or I didn't make this up or this wasn't all in my head. It's going to bring you a level of clarity and understanding about life and spirituality and take you to a whole nother level mentally as well. And I know that because the Prince of Swords was next and the Prince of Swords is air of air. And that just means that this is, this is, infinite knowing this is infinite ideas this is maximum intellectual potential this is creativity and it's also balanced and it's clarified by the end past card and creation card reiterating creation reiterating ideas reiterating wisdom and understanding of not only the twin flame journey but more understanding of life and spirituality taking you to new levels of knowledge as well and new levels of wisdom and together new levels so that you guys can come together and um create bring forth new ideas and come to, just think about two people who experience the twin flame journey and coming together unification and spirituality on a whole another level coming together to think and create and bring ideas forward that again that's new levels as well that's new levels of creation then we have the ace of cups alluding to again the heart of God. When I look at this, this is the hand of God on your life. On the tree of life, this is corresponding to Keter. And Keter corresponds to the light. It's the first level of light all the way at the top of the tree of life. And it's its hand is in your life. The hand of God is in your life. Your cup runneth over. This is emotional fulfillment, emotional blessings. Abundantly, though, on, again, new levels of abundance, new levels of blessings. Whoever this reading is for, you're, you're blessed. As many blessings coming towards your life, and there's just no other way to put it. You're blessed. You're divinely blessed, and it's finally about to manifest in your life. It's finally manifesting in your life at this moment. It's, it's moving at this moment. Things are moving towards you at this moment. It's coming. There is no stopping it. It's unwavering. It's happiness. It's fulfillment, it, and the door is open for you, and it's coming, and there is no stopping it. And really, there is not much more I can say about this because this is everything. This is everything. This partnership is everything, and it's about to manifest. And I'm glad I pulled these cards on film because I don't have to make shit up. I don't have to do it for views. I don't, I'm not a do it for the views or do it for anything kind of girl. It's, this is just what came out, and it's truth. I believe spirit, when spirit says it's coming, it's coming. Anyway, I hope you resonate with this. I hope I resonate with this. This is a wonderful reading. And I, I pray that God blesses your partnership, but it's already blessed. It's already blessed and it's already coming. I wish you, oh, if you would like a private reading, personal reading, click the link in my description. I'm blessed to help you or your business. If you're manifesting something, you want to see if it's the right project, a book. Whatever it is, I also do resumes. I also have books that I've written, The Personification of Beauty, The Power of I Am, um, The Heart of Wisdom Edition, and um, Dream the Spiritual Pathway to Success and the Business Strategy Journal. Click the link in my description and see how I can help you. I also do resumes if you need help with that as well. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace. This what God's gonna like. 
I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help. And if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you. Good luck and peace.